Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Monster Sanctuary. So, let's take on the challenge here. Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Hey Biren, long time no see. I brought you a new student. She just hatched her first monsters. I thought you might teach her some lessons. So you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folk call me Old Biren. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail so that I can teach all of you Greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged Monster Keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you are worthy of the title. And yeah, 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 I know how it works. But see, when it's a trainer, he says blobs, but you can change up your monsters, but we have a perfect team for this because we can just hack and slash this guy. Yeah, and then counter. I already mentioned this in the last episode. And we'll just happily finish off the first of the goblins. Why do yours have like AoE attacks already? Mine don't. That's not very fair, man. You can also choose which monster you want to attack first. So like, for example, since this guy's doing the least amount of damage, right? We can do that. And then we can get him to attack. And then his lightning slash would do even more. Except for some reason it technically didn't. So that's the thing, I guess. And there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's Trail and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a proper Monster Keeper, you will need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, the next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. So now what you do is you just talk to them and then you prepare for the real test. Which in this case is a Salahammer. In the original, it was Polter Uffin, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, Steam Golem, or whatever its name is. Alright, Lightning Slash doesn't really do anything. Ice Hail, super effective. And Ice Hail, super effective again. Alright, so he's got a buff, and then he attacked. Okay, so... Um, crit damage, apply bleed. Oh, and we got a burn, too, which is good. So then we're going to attack with you, because you do less damage. And we'll attack with you, because you do more. We're not getting a lot of bleed off, though, which is kind of sucky. Ow, 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 That's actually doing quite a bit of damage, though, not gonna lie. Hopefully he doesn't forge that shield again. Uh-oh. Oh, no, he died! And I don't think I have... Oh, I do. I have a Phoenix tier, so we'll use that. Which brings him back. And it also counts towards your combo points, too, so that's a good thing. He just does a lot to Virtrag, which sucks. Not much we can technically do about that, either. Alright, next turn he should be dead. Or at least close to it. Just don't kill me in the process, man. Oh yeah, he's dead right here. There we go, we defeated the boss. And we only got a two-star, though. And we leveled up. And we beat that. Now we're a Keeper Aspirant. Alright, so yeah, regular monsters, the mountain key, path key. So now we have to go open that door and we got apples, potatoes, and yeah, increases our stats, which is pretty good. I don't like to technically use those until I'm sure of a team. And right now we're not really sure of a team, so that's a thing. Don't want to go burning through items on a team that we're not so sure about. Like, if we can get more goblins, that would be great. Because the goblins are super strong. If we had the ability to turn into a blob, we could get there. Also, wait, what is your ability? Earth and ice, um, invisible platforms, and fire. I think this is a hidden secret. Yes, it is. Which means we can grab this item, which is a helmet. Because, yeah, we'll make our creatures wear helmets. Because they're, they're going to they're gonna bonk their little noggins. And, oh, we got more Virtrags and Polteruffins. Alright, let's, uh... Slash these guys down a bit. Oh, man, that did so much damage. Holy cow. Ooh, uh... He'll die, which is nice. Oh, he didn't die to the burn. That sucks. But he died to that. Just died to a basic attack. What a noob. Alright. 
Let's continue on this way and see what we got. Okay, we got a chest over here, which is a wizard hat. Wait. Do we have the ability to activate water yet? No, we don't have the ability for water. Though, however, we can do fire with you. So we can open up this item, which is a Pandora's box, which is just a solid item to have. Um... I think we'll just keep you on for right now. And we gotta go back this way. I do believe enemies do respawn after a certain amount of, like, screen uh, shifting. It's so, like, the more you go off screen and on screen to a place, the quicker they'll spawn back. Because they do eventually respawn. I know story events, too, also seem to uh, affect that. Oh yeah, never mind, that was just that up there. Just making sure we didn't miss out. So this seems suspicious, but it's not. I know where most of the secrets are. It's been a while. At yeah, what level are these guys, anyway? Oh, they're only level 3. Let me explain why we're kind of, um... You know, maybe neutering them. Chill makes it so they run at a mana faster, by the way. For those who don't know. Oh no. They still do a lot of damage, though, surprisingly enough. But we don't have a very defensive team. That's, that's something that we're lacking, is a very defensive core. We don't technically have a tank creature on our team yet. Oh, Vertrag, what are you doing in my way, buddy? Oh. Nothing left to do but get you out of the way. Right. Ow, raise. Wow, that does nothing. It's just better to use this attack. Huh. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thanks for the blue gem. Yeah, like I said, we can't go in there just yet either. Uh, we've already been that way. There's nothing that way. Oh yeah, we can get this chest again though. I know... There we go, that time we got it. It was the impact ring, and then we can open that up. And the boss is a golem dude. Known as the Mega Rock. Ooh, Mega Rock. Let's burninate him. Let's beaminate him. And let's slash and dash him, I guess. I don't know. Wait, did he shock me? That's interesting, weirdo. Oh, we got the burn. That's solid. Ah. And we got the chill on him. Oh man, he's got a shield now, that turd nugget. That's not very nice. I do not like dealing with uh, sh that. Luckily though, it seems... Uh, I think we're going to use a potion on you. And then we'll solar raise you. And then we'll do this. That didn't really do anything. No, you weren't supposed to kill him, man. Actually, we're gonna switch to you, because you do the least amount of, uh... Just the least amount of anything. <laughs> oh, it missed. Oh my god, man. This guy is just hitting like a truck. Do you have to hit like a truck, bro? There we go. We defeated the golem. Or the mega rock. Apparently gave us steel and a peanut. And wow, that gave us a chest, that gave us a sustain ring. Oh yeah, and then technically just loops you around here. And we got an ocarina, because we're definitely playing The Legend of Zelda. The Ocarina of Time. Alrighty, now we have to go to the right, I'm pretty sure. Not down there, though. We have to go up here... Up here. Uh, do I have to fight you guys? You guys are all pretty weak at this point. You don't always have to fight creatures because, like I said, at, at certain points in time, they're just going to be weaker than you and not really give you XP anyway. Still can't get up there because we don't have the ability to fly or levitate. Um, oops, did not mean to fight these. They're only level 2, but whatever. Uh, beam! 
Oh, I should attack the other one. Whatever. Fiery shots. Solar rays. Claws. Wow, you did so much, man. You just shielded up the entire time. I approve, I guess. I guess technically we could level up once more, but I'm pretty sure there's a fight that we have to do anyway. No, we have to go this way next. Yeah, this is the way we have to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys are back to normal levels, yeah. Ugh. There we go, the mushroom's down. And they do so much damage. I do not approve of this game. Stop living. Also, you got the double burn. That's no fun. And the poison. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Ow. Alright, let's finish these guys off and get another level. There, now let's go and put some skill points into you guys. Oh yeah, we need to get to level 10. There's almost no point. It's like, I guess we could do this, and then that's about it. As for you, we can give you static, and we could do buff charging, because the other guy. Um, I guess we'll do this because it's physical, and then go with the attack increase. But, like, honestly, there's a good chance you're going to reset your skills anyway. Ah, oh, we made it to the monster sanctuary. We need to go to the blue caves. But, yeah, you can also talk to people by doing this. And there's monsters around here, and dudes like that. I think we're going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we will be going to explore the Blue Cave, so expect a longer, more intense episode next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>